Lots going on, you guys. Whitney 850 in the garage. Uh, gonna tackle a little something that I've been meaning to tackle for a while now. I, uh, in previous videos, ooh, that maybe that thing, eh, all of them do that. Though. That's the one thing I leave uh, broken so that nothing else major breaks, but you see here I have removed most of the foam from the headliner here. Over there. Yep. Removed most of the foam and the fabric from the headliner thing here so that all that's left is kind of like this insulation type stuff. And it still rains down orange shit and I'm tired of that. And so I have sourced myself bloop, bloop, another headliner here. And so today we're gonna go ahead and uh, tackle that. First, I'm gonna get the AC uh, set up back up really quick because it's still quite hot and uh, I don't wanna die. Air is on, it is time to get to work. All right, so I think the next thing I need to do is to make some space to work here and uh, get as much light in here as possible so I can see what the heck it is I'm doing. So I'm going to roll down all of the windows. Just turn on the key. Oop, going down, going down. Get some airflow in here. Those, go, those don't go down any further. And I guess I'll open up the sunroof. That ought to get some nice, some nice airflow coming through here. And I need to put the seats as far back and as far down as they will go. So I will do that now. All right, now all the windows and doors are open and the front seats are as far back as they'll go. That should give me all the room that I need to uh, continue with the project. I'm gonna be open, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn these lights to their off position so I'm not burning out any bulbs. And uh, I'm going to start by taking off the sun visors and all the little accoutrement. Try as hard as I can to remove these without breaking them as some of this stuff just snaps in, but it's all very old and brittle. And so there's no guaranteeing that I will not break something in the process of doing this, but this is why I'm working as slowly and as deliberately as I can. A lot of this just comes off with a screwdriver. You can see the little notch. Um, and then underneath these covers, I think are more torque or more little bolts that look like this. Or I think even some Torx bolts as well. But my real challenge I think is going to be how I'm going to get this trim here off without breaking it because I do not have anything that I can replace this with. So this is gonna be uh, a little bit of an experiment to see what it is I can do to maybe help get that, persuade that off without, without breaking it. Maybe I can melt it with a heat gun or something, we'll see. Got a 10 mil socket with a little extension. Should just start wrenching that out. Be careful and kind of move the kind of move it that visor out of the way. Oop, and they should come right out. Be careful whenever you are taking down the visor. There is a wire that connects to the light in the little vanity mirror that you will have to disconnect. Be sure to support the visor with your other hand as you take that last bolt down. Most people have a problem getting uh, this B pillar here to come off in one piece. Is usually this plastic here, listen to it. It's not that great, but there is a way to get this off in one piece. As you can see, I have gotten it off without breaking 
any of the bits that go into the clips here. And I will attempt to demonstrate it again without embarrassing myself. Okay, now from what I have been able to determine, text me if I'm wrong, place yourself on the outside of the vehicle like so and begin applying wiggling upward pressure to the top here until the top sort of comes loose. See? And then continue applying wiggling upward pressure. And then you reach down from the bottom. And then once this top one is loose, sort of continue the wiggling upward motion. And it looks awkward, but see and the whole pillar should have come loose without breaking anything. Let's take a look and see how we did. That one's still there, that one's still there. Yep. Yep. This is a matter of turning these little red clips here. Whoop, whoopsie daisy. Like so. Ooh. Make sure nothing falls, and if it does, now as you can see, I've got a broken piece here. This is normally attached up here, I believe. This has been loose this whole time. So let's keep it down here in the little parts bin, and we will continue removing the, uh, the A-pillar uh, plastic here. Try as we might, we make mistakes sometimes, and uh, all we can really do about it is press onward uh, with the knowledge that we have gained from failure. All right, I have removed the interior trim on the pillars and loosened both of the rears. Some of them came loose without a hitch, and uh, some of them I uh, I broke pretty badly. It never. The, the matter, I can always just epoxy those back together I, as long as I have all of the pieces still. So, uh, yeah, it might be an overnight project, but at least we will get it done. Now, on to the hard part. Notice that along the top right here, that it's kind of got like this notch, this clip right here, and that if I kind of pull, it should just come right down over this edge right here and unclip the whole thing here, but I'm afraid that this center bit right here either is attached too well or is going to snap whenever I pull on it like this. So um, let's apply some heat. Hmm. Hmm. It's, it seems to be attached there somehow, some kind of heat pressure thing. I'm gonna get up to that, try and pry underneath it with like a, uh, with something. He hasn't let me down so far, so let's uh, give it a try here. Carefully, carefully, carefully slide that direction. Crap. I think I'm onto something, y'all. It seems to be responding really well to wiggling rather than twisting and torquing. Back and forth like so. And it wants to nice and happily. Ooh. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but 
to get some wiggling motion out of this. Yes, I can. And, oh please, oh please, oh please. Support this side. I'm gonna say, this side is giving me the, oh, it's giving me the most trouble. <laughs> I blame Ryan Gosling. Oh. I blame Jason Mraz. He's probably gonna get this video. Oh, take it out. Did you see that? Look, it is in one piece. They said it couldn't be done. But look, one piece. <laughs> good, good. Time to go take a break. Ah, I'm back to work. Time for a little bit of pry porn. Uh, where do I start? These are supposed to... Oh yeah. Uh, I used to really get that down with... There we go, just kind of push up. No need for... This one's got a nice little notch right here on the side we can... Try as hard as you can not to get orange shit in your eye. Uh, it doesn't feel good. It's probably also really not good for you either, but what are you gonna do? Okay, we're back in business. So from what I found out on the later model ones, there is actually a clip down here somewhere that you can just undo to let the, uh, the uh, visor light go. Um, unfortunately, that is not the case here and uh, looks like we're gonna have to do some wiring and unwiring, which means I'm gonna have to remember which one of these is which. Not fun, but whatever. Uh, I've mangled it, but just make sure that like these two things like never touch, otherwise you will fucking short out the fuse. Time to do the same to the other side. Well, um, that was a lot of work, but um, it's out, and now time to put that one in. I'm not gonna show you guys how I got this in here because I'm pretty sure I did it wrong and that somebody's gonna come in here and yell at me for uh, for ruining it. But luckily, I was able to salvage a bunch of this fabric tape uh, from both of the uh, of the uh, headliners. And so, whenever we go back to install the electronics, I can probably just tape that back up too, and nobody will be the wiser. Let's snap it back up. And it's wonderful whenever you're able to pull it off and it looks okay and then you realize that you've stumbled across a slight detail that you've overlooked for months and months that this is for an older model and so it has the uh, the light bar at the top except my light bar is down at the bottom so now it's kind of got this random blob here in the back uh, we're just going to ignore that didn't get quite so lucky reinstalling it yeah oh well Add that to the list of things that are cracked and or broken inside of this car. But hey, it's actually not looking quite as bad as you'd think it would. So uh, we're almost done. Time to just uh, button up some wiring and uh, throw it all back together and see how it looks. All right, it's getting kind of dark. We have gotten to a good stopping point here. Um, headliner's in. It's looking all right. I got some wiring to do. I think I better solder these rather than uh, just let them kind of hang out with some electrical tape or something. Those will fail eventually. And I do kind of want to maybe glue that back together or something. Other than that, I don't think anybody's going to notice. Looking pretty freaking good, actually. All right. 
Now the last thing is to sort of repair the broken bits on the uh, kind of get the clips epoxy back on so that these stay on because those will rattle around like crazy and that'll be annoying. I think uh, we'll get back to that uh, tomorrow. Go a little bit of adhesive and uh, nobody will be the wiser. All right, I have epoxied all of the pieces that I have broken because I'm terrible and a klutz. They went back together pretty fine though. We'll let those cure overnight and we will reinstall these in the morning. All right, we're back again. Looks like the pieces that I epoxied have been able to sit here in the heat in the garage overnight and have cured nicely. Uh, from what I can tell, all the bits and pieces that I've epoxied back on seem to have stayed. And I am now currently in the process, oh, let me go over the other side, of getting, oh, I'm caught on my bike. Let me go, bike. Uh, to solder these boys back up, which is actually was more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. So I've had to add little shunts with some shrink tubing. And I gotta stuff all this back together. Uh, and uh, then I should just be able to snap the A pillars or the pillars back on in the top little parts there and we should be in business. It's looking pretty good, despite the fact I did it wrong. All right, that's not looking quite like a hack job. Oh, wait, crap, I didn't look over here. Uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be behind the pillar, ignore it. At least I used heat shielding instead of electrical tape. Judge me how you will. I think the answer to the question that we all have currently is, was it worth it to repair the notches here on this? already very flimsy, very broken, very uh, discolored piece of trim. And is it gonna be this side or does it go over? I think this one's on this side. I got the wrong piece. Now with the correct piece in hand, I will demonstrate the technique that I use to reattach these or uh, anytime I'm working on the interior of a car. Please don't break, 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 please do not break, do not, please do not, oh god, oh that is so precarious, I am very nervous right now, um, that goes there as far as I know. Um, can I just slide? Instead of snapping, let's try sliding it into, oh, that appears like it went where it was supposed to go. Oh, I am very nervous. This is very precarious. Um, uh, okay. This is I, I think there is a clip that this didn't quite clear. Oh my god. No. No, that definitely goes there. As far as I can tell. Yep. That should have gone there. This is quite humiliating. There, I have redeemed myself. One on the uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, six to go. Sometimes it works out beautifully, and sometimes it does not. This is the price we pay for working on these types of cars. I realized that in, instead of explaining how to do things, I've just been going ahead and doing them. This is intentional. Otherwise, we will never 
see the end of this. Fully come to fruition. Break one. It's just being stubborn. I think it's just being stubborn, Captain. Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. Good enough. Same to the other side. Look at that. New headliners in. It's not drooping, doesn't show any real signs of deterioration. Eh, could use a little bit of cleaning, but eh, I got it out of a pretty clean car. Pillars are back in, nothing looking too terribly broken. I think I did a pretty uh, bang up job for myself. Still kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to really like get this guy all back on in one piece. I was so excited that I got it off in one piece and I got it back on and man, oh well. Eh, you can hardly notice. But hey, I think I did a pretty bang up job. Let's uh, clean up, put it all back together and see how it looks. All right, now see what I did wrong was I did not undo the battery while I was doing this procedure uh, because I'm not a professional mechanic. Judge me how you will. Uh, so whenever I cut the lines in here, they must have touched at some point and burnt out the uh, fuse for the interior lights, which as far as if I remember correctly, should be number 15, which is going to be right there, this 10. And if I pull it out, oop, that should be popped. Yes, it is. See, that is a pop fuse. So, good thing I have another 10 right here. So take it, replace it really quick. That's what fuses are for. It's not a big deal. Back to business. Go, door lights are on. Got work. Boop. Boop. Nice, nicely done. That to the door. That's all the way on. That's off. That's the door. If I close the door, they will turn off. We can start the car. Why the hell not? See, now they're off. And uh, start closing up some of this stuff. Let's see how... Hey, it matches. <laughs> cool. All right. Windows up. And dang, it is looking like a whole new car in here. Fan-fucking-tastic. I'm so glad that I did that. Aside from like that little oversight, but eh, whatever. Uh, I don't think anybody's really gonna notice or care. Uh, I sure as hell not. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, really way too long video and uh, this amateur working on his Swedish medal. Thank y'all, bye-bye.